Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the host of today's show, Jay Little! Thank you, thank you, thank you. I can see your disappointment. You cover it well, but thank you, thank you. Well, let me explain. Kelly's taking a personal day. You know, she's a mom, and we're getting to the holidays, and you have kids. You guys all know how that works. So she asked Grandpa Jay to come in and kind of fill in a little bit. Now, some of you might know Kelly and I have history. Not that kind of history. <laughs> Just, Mine was the first talk show she ever did. And when she got this show, she called me and said, oh, what advice do you have? So I kind of passed on some of the advice that Johnny Carson gave me, and it served us both very well. And one of my favorite things that Johnny told me was, he said, no good deed goes unpunished. You ever heard that expression? No good deed, oh, my God. And I never really understood what that meant. Right, hey, tell me what I did wrong here, okay? I'm going to tell you something that happened to me a couple months ago, okay? I'm helping my wife at the dry cleaner. I'm carrying all the stuff in the dry cleaner, and I put it on the counter. And my wife is one of those people who likes to explain every stain to the dry cleaner. Well, this is red. When the Harringtons came over, this, you know, I'm like, oh, you know, yeah, I, I don't really like. I said, honey, I'm, I'm going to wait in the car. OK, so I'm waiting in the car. So I'm sitting in my car, and over here, first I hear a woman admonishing a child. The kids, yeah, I, you, I told you to behave. And, you know, you know, unruly four or five-year-old, I guess. I look over, and I see. The car's kind of filthy, like it's been under a tree or something, you know? And I hear the woman yell at the kid, and I notice the two rear doors are open. And on the ground, on the passenger side, a big pile of clothes. On the ground, on the driver's side, a big pile of clothes. The trunk is open, a big pile of clothes on the ground there with bedding and stuff. And uh, like one of those big wheel bikes sticking out of the trunk, and I go, boy, this looks kind of bad, you know? So I'm watching this. When I reach in my pocket, I got a $20 bill, so I figure, yeah. So I was like, up to the lady, as she's yelling at the kid, I go, hey, can I give you a helping hand there? She goes, what? I said, can I give you a helping hand? She goes, Jay, you know my husband owns a dry cleaner, right? <laughs> I, go, I go, what are you talking about? She goes, what do you think, we're homeless? <laughs> I said, well, quite honestly, yeah, I did. I mean, <laughs> I said, the clothes are on the ground, and the car's kind of dirty. Now she's just getting madder, you know? So I'm, I'm trying to talk about it. And then I see my wife come out with the dry cleaner. The dry cleaner goes, hi, honey. She goes, maybe if you got the car wash last week, like I told you, people wouldn't think we're homeless. <laughs> so, so, so she goes, well, who thinks we're homeless? Jay Leno. OK, now, now my wife is mad. The guy is mad. The woman, what did I do wrong? Exactly. <laughs> but enough about it. Look, we're all getting ready for the holidays. You excited about Thanksgiving, Christmas, the whole day? Oh, oh. You have a... Uh, I have a memorable Thanksgiving story. This seems like we're pretty close to the holiday. So, uh, did, did, you, did you ever see your mom just lose it? <laughs> you know, the first time, it was nine years old. And my mom was in Scotland, very, very strict woman, very stoic. No, Jimmy, you sit still, you be quiet. Don't, you know, all that kind of thing, you know? And my mom married my dad, who was an Italian guy. And when you're Italian, Every meal is huge, especially Thanksgiving. You know, my mother went through three ovens in 12 years. Literally, literally burned them out just cooking meals. Okay, okay. So she's getting ready for Thanksgiving. You know, she's up at 5:30, basting the turkey and candied yams and making the stuffy and uh, stuffing and lasagna. My mom would make her own pasta and then cut it. You know, because when you're Italian, you're taught the pilgrims bought lasagna. <laughs> turkey was a side dish. I mean, it's true. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, so my mom was cooking all this. You know, and we would always have dinner about. 1 o'clock, 1.30 in the afternoon. OK. So the relatives are all so I put the leaf in the table, you know, make it bigger. And we're all sitting around. And my dad's sitting. And my mom comes in carrying this 21-pound turkey. And her big sweat stains under her arms. And, said, <laughs> and she puts the turkey in front of my dad. And she, give my, she gives my dad the electric knife. Do you remember those stupid things? Yeah. Yeah. OK. So my dad takes the electric knife. He goes, click, click. And he goes, it's not plugged in. Do I have to do everything in this house? Well. <laughs> That was the wrong thing to say. I had no idea turkeys could fly. Literally, across the room, oh, my, oh I, I, I just saw, just, my mom went, <laughs> went crazy, and we just ate lasagna because the turkey was over there in the corner. Right? <laughs>